SRM obviously has a background in engineering. Uh, and here, uh, the first year, we established the School of Engineering and Applied Science. But immediately, and this is what attracted me about the vision, immediately we're also setting up the School of Liberal Arts and Basic Sciences. And in this school, we'll have the, 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 the capacity to connect fields across uh, these different fields that are so interconnected in the world, but are usually never connected inside universities, and I'll give an example. We know that uh, we're on the edge of a new frontier in terms of artificial intelligence, machine learning, automation, robotics, uh, a whole set of things that are changing the way in which we live and work in every possible way. We all carry around a little black object that has more computing power than the biggest computers in the 1970s and 80s. And we take for granted that we uh, uh, we'll have uh, Google or some other search engine at our fingertips. We can find out any kind of knowledge we want to find in a matter of seconds, if not, if not minutes. But we also know that technology is going to change everything, uh, everything else. It's going to change the kind of careers we can have, the kinds of jobs we can pursue. It already is changing uh, understandings of privacy. It may be changing the nature of democracy itself. Uh, it's going to change uh, uh, the way in which we uh, can even think about new kinds of careers, new kinds of job opportunities. Now, here in SRM, already we have students and faculty working to invent new kinds of robots, to do new kinds of 3D printing, to think about new models and methods and in artificial intelligence. But we'll have the capacity right here in Amaravati to bring together people who think about philosophy, think people who think about law, people who think about uh, sociology and uh, the social sciences to help solve some of the biggest puzzles.